Hello health enthusiasts, today we are going to discuss three major ways in which ejaculation can help to reduce or lower the risk of prostate cancer in men. Prostate cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in the prostate gland which is part of the male reproductive system and plays a role in production of a fluid which together with the sperms from the testicles make up a semen. Prostate cancer is the second most common type of cancer that affects men. In the US, one in every seven men are at risk of getting prostate cancer at some point in their life. Now, uh, prostate cancer begins when cells in the prostate uh, develop changes in their DNA or undergo mutation so that the cells grow and divide more rapidly than normal cells do. The abnormal cells then replaces the normal cells and a tumor uh, develops. Just so you know, uh, prostate cancer is not the same as prostatitis. They are different. A three major hypotheses explains how ejaculation can help to, to reduce uh, prostate cancer risk. And the first one is a uh, prostate stagnation hypothesis. This hypothesis argues that Reduced ejaculatory output in normal men can be a risk factor for prostate cancer. This is because reduced ejaculation leads to accumulation of carcinogenic secretions in the prostatic assigning. These secretions can lead to inflammation developing. Now, the second hypothesis is uh, argues that frequent ejaculation lowers psychological stress. According to this hypothesis, increased ejaculatory frequency reduces prostate cancer, cancer risk by the release of psychological tension during ejaculation. This makes the brain to calm as well as the nervous system and also lowers the sympathetic nerve activities, preventing prostate cells from dividing quickly and becoming cancerous. The third hypothesis um, is uh, uh, argues that frequent ejaculation allows for a normal prostate microbiome and a normal functions of prostate cells, including um, which reduces the risk of tumor growth. Uh, according to 18-year Harvard University study, the risk of prostate cancer was reduced by 20% for men who ejaculated 21 times a month compared to men who only ejaculated 4 to 7 times a month. Apart from uh, prostate cancer, ejaculation can also help to improve heart health, uh, brain, immune system, sleep and mood. So what are the risk factors of prostate cancer? The first one is age. So men who are over 50 years are more susceptible to prostate cancer. Race. Race. African American men are at higher risk of getting prostate cancer. And genetics. So if there is a if there's a history of prostate cancer in your family line, then you are most likely to get prostate cancer at some point in your life. Weight. Obesity increases the risk of prostate cancer, so those who are obese should work on their on their weight. Activity: um, dominant men are at higher risk of the of getting prostate cancer, so um, uh, men who involved in physical activities are not highly susceptible to this kind of thing. And diet: so in our channel we say whatever you eat can make you or destroy you. So men who eat um, who consume high animal and dairy fats are at higher risk as compared to people or men who, who include uh, fiber and fruits in their diets. Thank you for watching and tell us what you think in the comment section.